Hey guys, Andy here. So game streaming isn't particularly new. I know Stadia is the one that's been in the news recently and that's only a few months old, but actually if you go back to, I think it was May in 2010 on Live Launch, which was a game streaming, streaming service, um, now you might be thinking, what's, what's the benefit? Surely if you're a real game, you don't want to be streaming your game. The latency issues will be a massive detriment, which is true. But at the same time, game streaming means that you can run games that normally need really powerful PCs on things like your phone or a really underpowered laptop, which obviously has some pretty big benefits. Um, so I didn't realize this was a thing, but Nvidia have launched their gaming service in the last couple of days, uh, GeForce Now, um, and it's got a free version, it's got a paid version, so a free version, well, so I'll look at the free version. Um, the paid version means there's no queuing to join their servers, it means you have longer playing sessions up to six hours. The free version, you might have to queue, I haven't as yet, but then it's like day one or two or something, um, and you're limited to an hour gaming session. Then you'll have to disconnect and reconnect, and again, if there are queues, you might have to wait in a queue to get back on their servers. Um, the benefit though, it can be installed on Android, it can be installed on a Mac OS, or it can be installed on Windows obviously, which means that you can play your games on so many different devices. Um, and that's one of the points, it does need to be your game. So for example, Overwatch or Apex Legends, um, you have to own them, I mean, Apex Legends is free I think, but Overwatch, you have to own it. You install the application on your phone or um, your Mac OS laptop for example, in my cases, and here we have the application on my phone. And then when you say, right, well, I want to play Overwatch, you have to log in to your Batonet account um, for it to be able to run your Overwatch. So you can't, if you haven't got the game, you can't play it. That's not what this service is all about, unlike perhaps Stadia or, or other services. Um, this is all about playing your own games on whatever device you like. As you can see here, and it's a bit annoying that apparently I have to log in each time. Um, but once you've logged in, off you go. So I had a bit of a play on my Android phone using just an OTG cable, and then I plugged in the mouse through that. Um, and thankfully my keyboard has a Bluetooth mode, so I was using that for the WASD and everything else. And then the mouse obviously for aiming and shooting. And I just had a bit of a run around the practice area, and it seemed pretty good. It's very obviously it's very reliant on your connection. That's probably stating the very obvious. And it will give you warnings if it thinks it's dropping frames um, or if it just can't cope with the connection speed that you have in running that game uh, in the, in the, the uh, resolution that you want. It does seem limited to, so whereas Stadia can go up to 4K, uh, GeForce now is limited to 1080p. I think it can go up to 60 frames per second. A lot of what I was playing was in 30, so again, Proper hardcore gamers, this probably isn't the thing for you. Um, having said that, really, it's just for when you're out and about, perhaps, or you go and stay with friends or whatever, and you haven't got your main PC with you, is the way I see it. It could be really handy. If I'm off visiting my mum and I've got my MacBook, I can still play Overwatch if I want. Um, having said that, on my MacBook, I was having a lot of connection problems, and it did, it was a bit laggy. It would sort of freeze up now and then. Um, and I think it said the, res the best it could do was 720p, 30 frames per second, which obviously isn't great. But again, I'm probably not going to be playing comp when I'm on my MacBook. Um, I'm probably out and about and I just want to kill a bit of time and have a bit of fun. Um, and for that, it seems ideal. I've not installed it yet on my tablet, but that'll be a great idea because that's a nice, that's a bigger screen. Because on the, on the mobile phone, it was quite small and I, it was quite hard to see what I was doing. Um, you don't have to have keyboards and mice plugged in. You can have on-screen keys, but that wouldn't really be very useful. Um, I did try it with my PlayStation 4 gamepad, which I'm fairly sure it says should work, and I didn't try hard and for long, to be honest, I just kind of thought, you know what, I'm gonna plug a keyboard and mouse into it. But in theory, you can plug a gamepad in, um, or a proper phone gamepad, I'm sure, and play games that way, which would be pretty cool. Uh, out and about, you've got a small, compatible gamepad you just plug your phone into, and off you go. So, it seems great. The, the free version, well, why not? Why wouldn't you? The paid version at the moment is $4.99. I don't know if that's going to increase. That's for the first year if you sign up now. I don't know if that's going to increase in the future. Um, and how much, you know, I, I, I'm happy on the free version. I'm probably not out and about. There's not that many times I'm out and about and I want to play games. Normally, I'm just waiting till I'm at home and I play. But it just seems a really good idea. To me, it's a better option than something like Stadia, 
which is very limited for games. Yeah, you got better quality perhaps with the, I mean, 4K 60 frames per second on stadia does look fantastic on my big 55 inch TV in the living room. Um, but this is more of an option just for sort of simplicity and ease of use and convenience, I suppose. Um, so that's it, GeForce Now, it is out now. You do need an NVIDIA account, but again, I don't think they're free. Um, you, I don't think you need a GeForce graphics card. I think that's kind of not really related to this. It just happens to be that GeForce, the people, or NVIDIA, the people providing this service. Um, yeah, so seems a pretty good idea to me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you're not already a subscriber, please make sure you do subscribe. Check out some other videos on my channel. Give me a thumbs up, please. Um, because I know everyone gets annoyed when, when uh, people in YouTube say that, but it really does help. And if you've enjoyed the video and you feel you enjoy other videos, please just help out the way you can. That's all from me. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.